Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we are talking about Canada's most endangered mammal. Now lots of folks go, oh, that's polar bears, right? Or, or orcas? It's actually not. The most endangered mammal in Canada is this small friend right here, the Vancouver Island Marmot. In 2003, Vancouver Island marmots were down to 30 individuals left in the wild. That's the same as some of the numbers of uh, kids we might have in our school classrooms, which is a very, very small amount of marmots. So the Calgary Zoo, along with uh, many partners in the marmot recovery team, are working to restore this amazing species to the mountains in Vancouver Island. So we breed them here at the Calgary Zoo, and they are released into the wild. But when you're releasing an animal into the wild, you have to make sure that it is the most best prepared for living on its own. And how to do that when we raise an animal in human care? We need to make sure that the marmots that leave us know how to be a wild marmot. And that's a little bit tricky. Now, earlier today, Natasha has taken you through some of the amazing parts of the Marmot Project. And I want to talk a little bit today about the anti-predation study that we did. This is how we know if a marmot that's being released from our care into the wild knows what isn't, what isn't a predator and can make sure that they display the appropriate response to a predator. Now here at the Calgary Zoo, we don't take our beloved marmots that are bred in the program and put them in with predators to see if they know what to do. That's not going to work very well in our care. So how do we teach this lovely marmot how to be wild? Well, that's where our amazing resource collection comes in handy. Last week we met some of the items in the Biofact collection, and today I have a few more here with me. This is a Vancouver Island Marmot Mount, a Magpie Mount, and a Great Horn Owl Mount. What we can actually do is take these amazing bird mounts or other mammal mounts that we have here in our collection, and we can take them out to the Wildlife Conservation Center and we can show them to the marmots. For the past two springs, our conservation research team has taken a group of taxidermy mounts, including cougar, um, eagle, owl, and then some non-predators like this magpie or a duck out to the Wildlife Conservation Center and has shown them to the marmots that are part of the breeding program. What we're looking to see is if a uh, marmot that's born in human care can distinguish between something it should hide from, like an owl or a cougar, and something it doesn't need to worry about, like a duck or a magpie. We're still working to digest all of that data, but what this helps us do is understand if the marmots that we're releasing to the wild are prepared to live on their own in the wild, or what we might need to do in order to teach those animals how to be wild. Thank you so much for watching Daily Dose today. For your activity at home, we've given you a Canadian conservation word search so you can learn some of the new terms that are part of conservation science. Now, we want to thank all of you for being part of the Calgary Zoo family. As we're all going through these new challenges, it's really amazing to be able to connect with all of our visitors online. Thank you for watching Daily Dose at Home and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.